Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a Goodwill outlet, otherwise known as the Goodwill Bins Thrift Haul. This is going to be 45 items that I have sourced from the Goodwill outlet here in Houston. We do pay $2.49 per pound here, and I was able to find some amazing items. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to start off with three pieces I grabbed for myself. This first is newer tag American Eagle ribbed high rise flare leg lounge pants. These, these look brand new and I like the neutral brown color. I'm always needing lounge pants so I was happy to find those. I also grabbed this Rubbish which is a Nordstrom Juniors brand little crochet trim mini slip dress kind of thing and I have been wanting one of these to wear sweaters over with booties or boots in the fall time so also happy to find that and lastly is just a navy v-neck t-shirt that I've already worn a couple times it's just from J. Crew, um, size small I like you know just basic t-shirts I love finding basics for myself at the bins because that probably retailed for like 30 40 bucks and I paid around a dollar okay everything from this point on I will be reselling we have two pairs of shoes to start off with first is this Steve Madden genuine calf hair leopard printed flats these are in decent condition so I did want to get them they're size six they're the illusion flats and anytime you have genuine calf hair I usually look at this toe as well as the back heel to see if any of it has been rubbed off and those were going strong so that's a solid probably $30. Second and last pair of shoes are these knee high suede taupe heeled boots by Vince Camuto. I don't think these were ever worn. They look brand new maybe once or twice possibly I couldn't find a size is the only thing so I'll have to try them on I think they fit around a size 8 but I mean with them being in flawless condition and genuine suede I for sure wanted to get them Vince Camuto is a very reputable shoe brand one children's dress this is by Hannah Anderson it's new with tags and I just thought it was precious with this floral embroidery as well as the pink and green color block design buttons in back. This is a size 120 and it retailed for $48. We have a little Zara gingham crop top. This kind of stuff I just very quickly flat lay and list it. I'll probably list this for like $18 to $20 size extra small. It usually sells quickly, so easy to list. Just great kind of closet fillers. This blouse I thought was gorgeous. It's 100% silk and it has this really fun mixed color block dot print. I also really like the cut of it. It's a dolman oversized very relaxed fit and then the back hem is shorter than the front hem which you don't typically see the brand tag had been removed from the neck but the inner tag showed that it's 100 percent silk as well as having an rn number of 66170 so i did look this up and confirm that it was originally sold at anthropology i also liked how the seams kind of overlap so yeah, really pretty, unique, interesting piece there. We have Free People next. Adorable. The comps on this were really good. I want to say like $30 to $40. Bubble sleeve with this floral textured design. Open back with two ties. And this is new with tags, but it looks like it was sold at Dillard's. $128 originally. And here is the free people tag. It's a size small. I'm sure we all are familiar with this tag. So yeah, gorgeous piece. What is this made of? It kind of feels, this is also a newer piece. I can tell just by the inner tags. Tinsel, polyester, and nylon. One of my absolute favorite brands to find and sell, Chico's, size two. This is such a nice fall slash winter time knit 
maxi skirt or maybe it's a midi skirt. No, I think it's maxi because it's a heavier weight. And so you could easily pair a sweater with this and then some knee high brown boots. And this would be such a look. It's fully lined. Next up we have plus size. This is Torrid size one, another really nice colder weather piece. Sweater dress, black and pink print. It's like a skater style dress. It's a really soft sweater knit with a cutout in back. This is also fully lined. Kind of, is that like a zebra print? Polyester rayon spandex. It's from 2019. These I mainly grabbed because they were new tags and I also thought the cut was really nice and contemporary. Great for the office. These are Ann Taylor high rise with these enamel gold rimmed buttons. They are high rise, lean through the hip and thigh, slightly flared leg, full length knit. Size six, doesn't have the retail price, but I'm sure these were around $100 originally. Really thick, nice, stretchy knit. I'll probably list those at like 35 to 38-ish. A lot of people have Ann Taylor as their tried and true career office workwear brand. And so I'm sure a lot of people scour the secondhand market to find deals because it is expensive retail. This is an Eileen Fisher open front neutral cardigan. Once again, the brand tags had been cut out of this, but I did confirm that it is Eileen Fisher with this interior tag. I didn't wanna leave it behind because it is 32% alpaca, 19% wool, and 13% silk. So the fabric blend is really nice with this and it had no flaws. More kind of career office workwear style. This is just a lower to mid-tier boutique kind of brand, Audi. I have sold it in the past and it has sold pretty well actually. I was excited to see that this is a size 1XL and that it is new with tags. It's a long line boyfriend cut blazer with this leopard cheetah animal print. It's a long line. So yeah, really nice. That'll probably go, I'll probably list that around 30. We have a Madewell check print button back square neck tank top. So with the square neck, I'm able to add keywords like 90s, Y2K. This is, it feels like 100% linen, but someone did cut the tags out. It's a size two. More free people. This is in a size large, which is awesome. Button down, oversized, gauzy fringe trim shirt. Definitely in a boyfriend kind of cut. It's definitely relaxed and oversized, slouchy. This one is also missing the inner tag. But yeah, look at these buttons. They're very natural looking. And there's also distressed raw seams, very true to the Free People brand. Chico size three, which is equivalent to a size 16, 18 striped button down shirt dress. This was missing its belt, but you could add your own or you could just clip those off and wear this as a you know relaxed silhouette. It has side slits. I, even though it is missing its accessory, I did want to get this because it's Chico size three, which I don't find too often. That is a larger size. It's equivalent to a 16, 18. And because this does have the US conversion, size conversion on the neck tag, that means that this is a newer piece because they have more recently started doing that. I also did want to get it because it is all natural. 52% linen, 48% cotton, and because it's a more substantial cut, being a maxi length. Okay, even more free people. This is a size small. I've actually sold this cardigan a long time ago in green. It's a loose, oversized waffle knit with rolled sleeves and a fringe trim going down the front sides very slouchy very oversized and this is actually a silk blend yeah 62 percent silk 34 percent cotton 
So it's natural, it's breathable, it's nice. This is an excellent transitional piece going into springtime because it's a looser knit, um, but it is still a cardigan and it does provide some warmth. New at Tags, Zara blouse. I really like the cut to this with the tie front. It looks very flattering. And I can still add keywords like office, career, minimalist, workwear, contemporary, capsule wardrobe. This retailed at $50 and it is a size small. One of my favorite bread and butter brands to find, Umji. And this is a particularly good piece because it's a size extra large. It has these really fun tiered ruffle leopard printed sleeves. And because it is a linen blend, 55% linen, 45% cotton. So anytime you have natural materials, that just means that the piece is a higher quality, it's breathable, it was more expensive to manufacture, and therefore you can resell it for a little bit more. The bottom hem has a fringe trim as well. Even more career workwear style of item, J. Crew size 16, which is awesome, leopard printed trousers these are really nice and they have a fun pink contrast towards the bottom hand these look brand new you could wear just a basic black blouse with those this is something that i just kind of threw in my cart it was lightweight very boho it's two by vince camuto and it's a size extra large i love the earthy tie-dye print very slouchy, thin material. It drapes really nicely. You can just throw this on with jeans and some flats. 100% viscose, made in India. Okay, now we have Eloqui, size 14. This is one of my uh, favorite bread and butter plus size brands to sell along with Torrid, Lane Bryant. With this being new tags, I was really excited to find it and it looks so flattering. It's a button down shirt blouse with a tie front and some ruching on either side it's long sleeve and it's definitely a closet staple kind of piece you could dress this up dress it down it's rayon polyester and nylon okay next we have a dress by jay mclaughlin and this is in their Catalina cloth material, which is exclusive to the brand. It is a specific fabric makeup that Jay McLaughlin has coined Catalina cloth. People search for it, they know it, they like it. It retails for a lot. This dress probably retailed for a couple hundred dollars. It's 91% nylon, 9% spandex. So anytime you find an item that's this brand, Jay McLaughlin, and it is that fabric makeup. You want to make sure that you add Catalina cloth as keywords in both your title and description because people search it out. It's a really nice, soft, stretchy, almost sweat wicking material. And that had the belt still attached. Great piece to find. Okay, now we have Torrid New It Tags size 1x dress retailed for $70. It's a striped print with a v-neck, a tiered skirt portion with contrasting stripes, which is so cute. Does it have, it has pockets. Yes, it does have pockets. And it also has a waist belt still with it, which we absolutely love. It's fully lined. I'll add nautical, boho, preppy, 100% rayon lining is poly, and this is from 2019. So yeah, this will probably sell, I would say $35. That was a solid find. Back to Chico's, size small, medium. This is a 100% linen, tropical, boho, printed poncho blouse top. So I'll definitely be adding in vacation, cruise, tropical, little keyhole opening in back. This looks brand new and I'm sure this retailed for around a hundred, if not a little bit more. Love that print. Free people, just a basic cream waffle knit. 
Henley top with a rounded bottom hem and then these fun zipper cuffs. It's like a contrasting gold thread. Size large, definitely a bread and butter kind of piece there. These are a pair of vintage Lee jeans and I mainly picked them up because of the cut. They definitely have the 90s Y2K mom jean style to them with the high rise and the tapered leg. So I'll have to measure these and try to figure out how they fit in modern sizing. That's the only tricky part with listing vintage jeans. They say size eight long or 29. So that does kind of help me out a little bit that they have some sizing already listed. We have a pair of men's Lululemon shorts. These do have a little bit of wear to them. I'm seeing now under my studio lights, but that's fine. They'll still sell probably 25 or 30 because they are a size extra, extra large. They are lined, camo print, lots of pockets. They have zip pockets. And here is the men's Lululemon logo. Anytime you have the four corners like that, that means that it is a men's piece. I have sold this in the past. I believe it's called the Jordan Tee from Free People. Very slouchy, burnout, maroon colored t-shirt with a choker neckline, drop shoulder, raw seams, size small. Next we have more linen and more Chico's. This is their no iron. I do like to pick up Chico's no iron uh, shirts and tunics when they are 100% linen because a lot of people love the linen material but it does wrinkle very easily so Chico's has been able to manufacture a linen that is a little bit more wrinkle resistant even though I am seeing some wrinkles but honestly it does these do steam out a lot more easily than you know linen that is not no iron <laughs> Size 2, and once again, this does have that U.S. size conversion, size 12, which lets me know that this is a little bit of a newer piece. I did like the neutral color, yeah, 100% linen. And so, yeah, it kind of gives you, like, safari vibes to it. We have a Diane Von Furstenberg dress, 100% silk, size 8. So this is in a wrap silhouette which wrap dresses from Diane von Furstenberg are her best selling clothing category in my selling experience. It's kind of what she's known for. She does it best and this is a gorgeous red cheetah print. So yeah really pretty and with it being 100% silk it should sell really well. It's in excellent condition. Super excited to find that. That's probably a $75 sale. Another dress. So this one, this is by Anthropology, and it is new with tags. However, it does have a flaw to it. The sub-brand is Moulinette Sewers. This is one of my favorite sub-brands from Anthro because they make a lot of formal cocktail party kind of pieces. It's in a size 8. And so let me show you the dress and then I'll show you the flaw. It's this really pretty floral abstract print with a gold metallic sheen to it. It's fully lined, zips in back, looks very flattering. So originally it did have boning here that kept this V-neck very straight, but I had to take it out because it was like protruding in a weird way. It wasn't protruding from the corners, so I just cut the lining on the inside and took it out. So you really can't, you know, there's no way to see that it was taken out from the exterior. So I'm definitely still going to list it, and I'll just disclose that the v-neck is a little bit less rigid than it once was, and I think I think it will still have no problem selling. Okay, next we have Splendid. 
I see this brand quite a bit when I am out and about thrifting. However, I usually leave it behind just because although the retail price is very high, this sweater is pretty basic, but it probably retailed for $150. Even though it does have that high ticket price, it does not have the best resale value. However, I thought this was particularly cute and so I did want to get it. I think it is a newer piece. I love the multicolored knit. But yeah, the condition was great. The colorway, the cut, very cute. More free people, a waffle knit long sleeve with contrasting pink and blue colors. Very slouchy, size large. I've actually sold this piece in the past which will make it very easy to list. We have Anthropology. This is a Kimmy and Kin in a size medium. Really pretty neutral v-neck tunic blouse top with dramatic side vents. This is very beachy, very boho. I'll also add in Lag and look, contemporary, minimalist, festival, boho. Let me see, what is 100% linen? So yeah, I could see this going for 32, maybe 35-ish with the style and material and condition. I grabbed these three Ann Taylor Loft tops because they were all the same size and the same style. So I am going to take quick pictures of these and list them as a bundle. That's one of the advantages of shopping at the bins is you stumble into one person's donation donations and they you know usually have an ongoing kind of style and also size so you can pick up a lot of clothing and then list it as a quick bundle if you want to and you know because it's all the same style it does typically appeal to someone who has that same style so it makes it really easy to just add kind of like bundle or filler items in your closet. Size extra large and tailor. This has really pretty embroidery. This one has a floral print with shirred sleeves, which is a really feminine touch. Little keyhole opening and back. And lastly is a plaid print with little tiny hearts within the plaid, which is so cute. So yeah, I thought these were all precious. I couldn't leave them. They all are size extra large and they all are in excellent condition. They probably retailed from Ann Taylor, I mean, for at least $30 each. So I'll probably list the bundle even at like 30, 35. And I think that would be a nice little you know, quick pickup for someone. Even more free people, size medium, sheer blouse with a ruffle trim. Sheer or semi-sheer tops have been a trend recently, I have noticed. Really sweet ruffle sleeves as well. And then there is smocking towards the upper portion of the blouse. This is really pretty, it's just 100% polyester. I can feel that, yeah. But I did look up comps on this and they did seem pretty promising. I think that might go for around 35-ish. What is this? Oh yeah, this was Feathers by Tolani. Tolani is sometimes sold at Anthropology, not always, size medium. I'll just toss this on my mannequin, swivel it around and take some quick pictures. It's a poncho blouse top with this vibrant floral print. We have another sweater. This one is by Madewell in a size extra, extra small, but it definitely is a bit oversized. This would fit a true size small. I will have to add measurements So, A slight balloon sleeve. This was in good condition and also the fabric was good. Cotton wool alpaca blend. It's from fall of 2019. This I got as a very bread and butter piece. It's just Kato but it was a size extra large and I loved the sleeves on this. It's definitely like a free people dupe kind of thing with the contrasting textures and prints, but I don't think this was ever worn. It looks brand new. 
really soft and comfy. So yeah, this is a solid like $22, $25 sale. Last couple items, we have J. Crew. This skirt I've sold in the past. It is in collaboration with Liberty of London Fabrics. I'm not sure why it doesn't say it on this tag, but the other one that I sold did say it. And yeah, I this is missing the waist tie, the waist belt, but I don't think that's gonna keep it from selling. I will list it lower because of that, but I couldn't leave it with how cute it is, the tiered design, it's fully lined. It's in great shape otherwise. This is in a size four, and it is from spring of 2019, 100% cotton. So yeah, and our very last piece for today is more Free People. I feel like I had so much of this brand in this haul. This is from their Free People One line, which I do like to sell because it has a lot of very delicate, almost ethereal fabrics and styles to it, which people seem to really like. And this little blouse is no exception. It's really pretty and gauzy with this floral print fringe seams or edges, hems, I guess you'd say. Again, with that semi sheer, oh, I am seeing a hole. That is the downside to this line within Free People is because everything is so delicate, you do get flaws here and there. But uh, maybe I'll show that to my Mimi and see what she thinks. If not, I'll just list it as is because um, it's not a huge deal. I might list it for like 15-ish and see if anybody wants it. So with that, we are finished with the haul for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye y'all.